What's up guys, I'm Modern Arts here and I'm going to be making you guys a little tutorial on how to use the Metaball and uh, some lighting and some uh, HDRI image. So first open up Cinema 4D and we're going to do our render settings. So for output you're going to have 1280 by 720 as usual and frame range you're going to have all frames. Oops, this got changed one second. Alright, save it as a quick time movie and click here to choose where to save it and then uh, I already have these on but you don't need those so what you have is a uh, general uh, yeah, yeah. so there you go and uh, for options have ray depth on 6 reflection depth on 2 and shadow depth on 6 on six. so now we're gonna make a meta ball and for you guys who don't know how to do that I'm gonna show you how you're gonna get a sphere and we're make, gonna make the radius 50 and we're gonna make the segments 100 and then you're gonna control drag on that sphere so you have a total of five or six I'll just go with five it's not working for some reason sometimes my control drag gets messed up alright so there you go you got five spheres and now you're gonna go to this thing right here and you're gonna click on metaball and it's very easy. You're gonna click on the first sphere, and then shift and click on hold on shift and click on the last sphere, so you have them all selected, and drag them into the meta ball. So click on the meta ball, and for under object, for editor subdivision, the less, um, the lower the number, the better will come out and the longer it'll take to render. So I'm gonna put it at five. And this sphere you're going to call main, this sphere you're going to call top, this sphere you're going to call right, this sphere you're going to call left, and this sphere you're going to call bottom. So what you want is a main sphere, a top sphere, a bottom sphere, a left sphere, a right sphere. So you're going to take the, you're going to take the top sphere and going to put it at the top. So just so you can clarify, right sphere, drag it to the right left sphere drag it to the left and bottom sphere drag it to the bottom and this is just right now so we have a placement of where each sphere is after that we're gonna make a background uh, or actually we're creating the HDRI which is gonna reflect off the uh, meta ball so you're gonna add a sky and you're gonna right click cinema 4d tags and then click on compositing and you're going to uncheck scene by camera then you're going to go to file load material preset user material oh. those are my custom HDRIs which I have downloaded uh, from someone else on YouTube but you guys are going to be using the default HDRIs so you're going to go to load material preset I think it's under cinema 40 yeah so cinema 40 materials HDRI and you can really choose whichever one you want but I like number 24 so once you have that you're gonna drag that off onto the sky so what it means is the camera doesn't see this HDRI image but the reflections do see it so now you're gonna make a material that the uh, meta ball is gonna reflect off of so um, let's try to make something kinda interesting let's um, for color actually I kinda have a cool idea I'm just kinda experimenting with you guys it really doesn't matter which material you want but you just wanna have some reflection on it so the HDRI is worthwhile but I'm gonna try going to load material preset engineering edition materials metal and then lead and trying to make like a cool glowing orange thing so once you have loaded that lead material for color I've never done this before but I'm just experimenting make it a bright orange for luminance let's do orange again let's try to boost the luminance let's see what happens if we do 200 or um, for texture I think let's try clearing the texture alright that looks more like it and, and once you've cleared the texture drag the brightness back to 100% and now let's do reflection. Let's have it a Fresnel reflection. So texture on that little arrow, make it Fresnel. And 
and let's see. Let's have it on 15 for the brightness and 50 for the mixed strength. And then um I'll just keep it like that. That looks it's probably gonna be pretty cool. So drag that onto the meta ball. See how this looks. That looks pretty cool. Kind of looks like an orange almost. So we, unless you want a black background, which I think is kind of boring, and you can't really. Uh, well, I I just don't want a black background. You can have one, but it's your choice. I'm gonna click these four ar arrows and add a floor. And then for coordinates, you're gonna for the P right here on coordinates right where mass is. You're gonna drag that to 90, so it's at a 90 degree angle. And then rotate your angle a little bit so you can see it like that and just drag this green arrow back so the floor isn't right behind this meta ball. So I'll just, what did I just do? Just center this. And now let's see how it looks. See now you have like a gray, a light gray background. And you can make a material and drag it onto the floor if you want, but I'm just going to keep it like this. And what else we're going to do, we're going to click on the meta ball, and you're going to right click Cinema 4D Tags, and then go to Vibrate. So this is just going to make the meta balls not stay still and just kind of shake a little bit. So for Tag, you're going to check off Enable Position, and you're going to make, for Amplitude, you're going to make all of them 50. Let's just see how that looks. See if you play it out, the meta ball kind of shakes. And I think that's a little bit too much shake or it's going too fast. So you're going to click on the vibrate where my mouse is on the meta ball. And you're going to change your frequency. Uh, if you want it to be faster, you can. Or if you want it to be less, you can. I'm going to put it at around 1.3. And now you'll see it doesn't shake around quite as much. A little bit more calm. So you have that. We're gonna add a camera that's gonna be slowly zooming in just to make everything a bit more interesting. So first, from masses, click this little black box near the camera, and that makes it so you see out of the see what the camera sees. So you're just gonna zoom out a little bit to around there, and you should be at zero on the timeline. And you're gonna click this keyframe button. Then you're going to drag to the end of the animation, which is 90 frames. And you can change your length if you want, but I'm just going to keep it 90 frames. And you're just going to simply zoom in and click another keyframe. So you can see this is the animation we have right now. Camera zooms in, the meta ball vibrates. And I think one of the last things I'm going to do, we're going to have the actual spheres inside the meta ball move around. So the first one. All we're going to do to that is we're going to make it get bigger. So you're going to click a keyframe, and then you're going to go to the end of the animation, and you're going to click on this box, and you're going to drag it like that, so it's a little bit bigger. And you can see the anim... Oh. Got messed up. But hopefully... Oh, it's really not working for some reason. Um... I guess we'll just keep the main sphere at what it is. So let's go to the top sphere. Let's have it start in the center at, at zero frames and then drag to end the animation and at 90 drag it up like that and click a keyframe. So you can see in the animation meta ball is being dragged out of it. For the right one we're gonna drag it in into there and you don't have to do exactly what I'm doing the what for keyframing the meta balls. So I'm just giving you guys ideas and you could just have that one go out. So so far what we have, we have those two meta balls going out. And then you could have the bottom one stay where it is. And you could have the left one start out and slowly move in for variety. Let's just move the keyframe so they don't all end at 90 because that's a little bit boring. So let's see what it looks like.
it looks pretty cool. And let's um animate the bottom one to move down a little bit. Like that. So now let's watch our animation. That's pretty cool. You have a meta ball and you have a camera and you have some HDRI reflecting off or if you render it. Just gonna render it one final time. That looks pretty cool. And while I'm at it, why not put in a little mini tutorial into this? How to save your own material because I'm gonna be doing this to this orange material anyway. What you do is you click file, um, click on the material that you want to save, file, save material preset, and I'm going to call it lava, and click OK. And now if you go into file, load material preset under user, you'll have the material that you made, and if you click on it, it just loads it in like any other material. So, oops. Thanks for watching, guys. This has been a tutorial on how to do a, a meta ball with some HDRI and some other stuff. So uh, please subscribe, guys. Thanks for watching.